All right, so this is a suggestion via Patreon. Uh, the name of the song is uh, Renegade. Uh, this will be coming from the artist Jay-Z featuring Eminem. Listen, if you guys are new here, please like and subscribe. The more that you like this content, the more that I know that you specifically would like to see more of this specific type of content. Uh, guys, I've mentioned this song multiple times within multiple other reactions, guys. Um, I've heard the song, obviously. I mean, this is one of these things where, you know, I definitely heard this, right? But we're gonna go ahead and dig into this, I guess, right? Because you suggested it, right? Um, but here's the problem. Again, I know Jay Z was somewhat subpar in this song, right? Um, but I guess you know I haven't heard it in probably a decade, over a decade, maybe. Um, but all right, let's go ahead and try to dig into this and see if I missed anything when I heard it the first time. I guess, right? Let's get it, guys. Performing now together, ladies and gentlemen, Eminem and Jay Z. All right, folks. And guys, before you come at me, this was the exact link sent, okay? Um, no problem. All right, let's get it. What you about to witness, New York City, Detroit. Let's get it. History. <laughs> Put your hands together. Yeah. <laughs> The guys that are clapping absolutely cannot find the beat, bro. I just can't explain that. Oh, I listened to it, sir. I absolutely listened to music. Um, at the time I heard this, I, for the most part, skimmed through it. But I skimmed through it, um, I guess, enough to know that you did, you, you, you know, you were not as good as Eminem on this track. Um, this is. It's probably the same reason why why Nas pointed that out in Ether. See, I'm influenced by the ghetto you ruined. The same dude you gave nothing. I made something to it. What I do through and through it. I give you the news with a twist. It's just his ghetto point of view. The renegade, you've been afraid. I penetrate pop culture. Bring them a lot closer to the block with they Pop toasters and they live with their moms. Got drop ropers. Who watch robberies? Yeah, they crashed over. Mommy's knocked up because she wasn't watched over. Knocked down by some clown. Sir, if you know, let me give you a tip, sir. Um, specifically, if you're rapping, something that takes a lot of like breath control, um, you probably don't want to move. Right. Because if you move, you then get out of breath slightly, even enough to basically make it so you mess up your verse. Um, just a tip. Let's get it. Nothing relate to it. I help them sit their way through it. Not you. Keep walking my pants. Can't step in my shoes. But anything you work to lose your time like your shirt. Since I'm in a position to talk to these kids and they listen. I ain't no politician, but I'll kick it with them a minute. You see, they call me a minute. And if the shoe fits, I'll wear it. But if it don't, then y'all will swallow the truth. Grit and bear Now who's the king of these rude, ludicrous, lucrative lyrics? Yes. Who could inherit the title? Put the youth in hysterics. Using his music to steer it. Sharing his views and his merits. But there's a huge in the What's interesting is that it's almost, it, I don't think Jay-Z even tried, bro, right? Um, I think that for, I think for the most part, he must have underestimated uh, how Eminem was going to deliver on the uh, the final mix. I'm going to guess that most likely uh, Jay-Z recorded his verse and was like, oh, I'm Jay-Z, I got this, right? Um, and then Eminem got the song basically as a reference for the most part. And um, he then was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to do this. Didn't even try. Honestly, I don't think he's trying as hard as he could have, right? Um, but it's it's almost like night and day in terms of how uh, Jay Z delivered and then just basically like how he wrote the song. And I don't, well, to my knowledge, I think Jay Z doesn't really write anything. I think he just basically uh, records uh, portions of like verse by ber verse or something, kind of like how like like a free verse maybe. Um, it's kind of how he delivers on, on the tracks. Um, but yeah. Jay-Z went into the song with, with entirely too much bravado um, because Eminem is basically wiping the floor with him uh, verse for verse, right? 
So that's that's interesting, guys. Let's get it. You didn't experiment, nah, nah, nah. That's when you start to stare at who's in the mirror and see yourself as a kid again, and you get embarrassed. And I got nothing to do but make you look stupid as parents. You freaking do good as too bad you couldn't do good at marriage. And do you have any clue what I had to do to get here? I don't think you do. So stay tuned and keep your ears glued to the stereo. Cause here we go. He's chicka 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 chicka. Now listen, this stuff. It's almost like he forgot his verse. I think that specific part right there is probably like one of the best parts of his verses, right? And just in terms of how he wrote that, right? Don't step to me. I'm awkward. I box lefty. And often my pops left me. And often my mama wasn't home, right? Like that specific thing was always something that stood out to me in his verse as like, okay, yeah, we have something here, right? Um, and then it just basically fell off right after that. Could not stress me, I wasn't grown. Dressy on nights, I bought something home. The quiet stomach grown. My demeanor, 30 years my senior. My childhood didn't mean much. Only raising green up. Raising my fingers to critic. Raising my head to the sky. Then we did it more time before I died. Shout out to no Biggie. Lie, just know I chose my own fate. I drove by the fork in the road and went straight. See, I'm a poet this summer. Regular modern day Shakespeare. And this, and this specific verse from Eminem is what basically uh, solidified uh, the song, right? Um, this specific song for me, in terms of who delivered better, um, another uh, definitely very disjointed feature. Um, probably the reason why they, why they've never been on any other song again together. By the fork in the road and went straight. See, I'm a poet this summer, regular modern day Shakespeare. Jesus Christ, the king of these latter day saints here. The shadow of the picture in which that is they paint me is a manga of fate. Satan, the scatterbrained atheist. But that ain't the case. See, it's a matter of taste. We as the people decide if shady is as bad as they say. He is a Rizzy the ladder, a gateway to escape. Media scapegoat, who they can be mad at today. See, it's as easy as cake. Simple as whistling dicks. While I'm waving the pistol. And this is definitely one of the best hooks I've heard from Eminem. Um, definitely top five overall hooks, right? Um, I love the whole cipher nature of the hook. I think the hook is what is grabbing people mostly on the song itself. Um, and obviously Eminem's verse was solid. Absolutely. Right? Let's get it, guys. What's on my mind at any given time of day? Because I'm a Yep. And there we have it, guys. We have uh, Jay-Z. Honestly, it, it kind of feels like it's Eminem's song featuring Jay-Z. Um, just with the level of, uh, you know, lyricism that was uh, dis on display in the song, at least, right? Um, yeah. As expected. Now, I, now, actually, looking through the lyrics itself, I can definitely tell you that, um, without a doubt, Eminem took this like, for the most part. There was not much of a uh, competition here, guys. But all right, listen, um, let me know in the comments of the next thing that I should be listening to from them. Um, I will get into that as soon as I can, all right? Listen, you guys all have an amazing day and enjoy it thoroughly. All right.